Hello guys and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, any files and Windows registry to store application settings. Uh, it is very easy and uh, real simple so uh, bear with me. Let's say that I have a VCL Forms application and what I want is that my application uh, remembers uh, where did I left my main window. So if I uh, close it here I want next time when I start the application that it that this main window starts here so if I move it for example here and resize it and when I close it so next time I open it I want it to be the exact as I left it I like here so I can do it uh, by using any files and Windows registry and I'll show you the both ways first let's uh, use any files and what I'm going to say is when I close this form I want to store its uh, uh, left coordinate and top coordinate and width and height into any file so first of all I need to include uh, registry HPP uh, you must include this uh, whether you use any files or Windows registry and the next step is to create any file object uh, it is created by pointer and equals new any file and uh, I will simply save it in my current directory settings any and at the end of everything I'll simply delete the object um, how to use this uh, object first of all we have a set of write functions so I can uh, write binary stream which uh, can be like anything uh, write pool value date date time float integer, integer string and so on and for this video I will simply use integer uh, I need to uh, specify the section and that will be a, a main window a section in the any file now uh, identity uh, it will be left and the value is of that and that identity is left so I will simply copy everything for the other values okay so that would be uh, when closing a form let's see I run this application and I close it and here is my or is he somewhere settings ah. forgot this And now here it is as you can see it has a main window uh, left top width and height property and its values now I will use the same thing when I load the form or create it I will use the same in a file and I will say I will uh, read the left value and it equals now I'm not going to use write functions I'm going to use a read functions and uh, a read function uh, it does need a section it does need identity but it also needs a default value uh, and I will specify this as a zero default value um, I will say 500 and 300 so this is a default and I'll say top equals okay so let's run this hmm. yes I need to specify read functions not write functions so I will place it 
it's here and I'll close it and now I run it as you can see it is on the same uh, position in the same position I will let's say here and I will resize it okay and I run it again and here it is and that is how it is done using any files as you can see it is really simple you just need to use uh, write and read functions now let's do uh, let's do the same thing using um, Windows registry uh, Windows registry is a bit more complicated and you always need to uh, watch out for a user uh, account permissions otherwise you won't be able to write into registry so um, we are going to start by run, writing something into registry and that will be happening on form close first I need to uh, create the registry object registry is uh, new t registry okay and uh, when working with registry I need to specify its a root uh, key so my root key and uh, here is the registry editor and um, these are the root keys so I need to specify one uh, what I'm going to use is this one uh, local machine okay um, okay and now I need to specify when I open it uh, I need to specify where do I want to uh, create a new key for my application so I will create it inside software um, I'll call it my key uh, software my app position or simply my app let's see if something like that don't exist it doesn't okay now let's uh, let's create register key create key my key and once I've created a key let's not forget to delete this object here and like I said once I've created a key now I need to open it and I'll simply say if um, registry open key uh, my key so uh, uh, this open key method will uh, try to open the key this one here my key meaning software my app but if it doesn't succeed uh, you can simply say uh, I want to create uh, that key if it doesn't already exist okay so I'll simply say here true and uh, once that is done now the easy part and that is uh, to simply write something into that registry key like in the previous case with any files you can use this uh, set of write and read functions and for our purpose we'll simply use this write integer write integer uh, name it will be left and value will be left okay and uh, we'll use top as top with as width and height so hmm. 
that would be how it's done. I think that will be it. Just a second. Hmm. I will close key when I'm done with it. Um, now, I want to do the same thing, but uh, now let's simply run the application here and go to the registry editor uh, software and what did we call it uh, my app so you must notice in this case i'm using a 32-bit application and therefore uh, you will not find your key here because i'm using a 64-bit windows uh, therefore you have this 6432-bit uh, node meaning it's probably here uh, I will refresh this. Okay, here it is. And uh, we have our values, height, left, top, and width, also here. So what I want is to read those values uh, uh, next time my application starts. I will simply copy-paste this, and I will say when my form is creating. Uh, I will not create key. I will simply say if uh, my key exists anyway. Then uh, I will try to Uh, simply co uh, control and D will format the source code automatically Na meaning if uh, my registry key exists then I will open it and then I need to read something meaning I will not use write functions but the read functions and I'm going to use I'm going to read the left uh, value in this case I will use top value Uh, in any files you need to specify uh, default value but not when working with Windows registry okay so let's see I always like to uh, do my applications, uh, I mean my YouTube videos step by step, uh, it is easier to learn something than to give a, a completed code. So let me uh, put my window here, close it, now it is saved into Windows registry and I start it, it is now those coordinates are read from Windows registry. Now let's put it here and resize it. start again and here it is and people <laughs> you see now that is how it is done it is not uh, uh, hard like I said uh, like you already saw any files it is much more simpler but if you want to use uh, Windows registry you can also do it uh, but you need to specify you, you need to play a, a little bit with keys and be careful uh, to have all uh, your uh, all your account uh, uh, privileges to write uh, and read from uh, Windows registry. Well, thank you for watching and uh, like I said, uh, if you have any uh, questions, please uh, write down below in your comments. Thank you.